What's going on guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Wanted to give you guys my week two starts of the week going over the four main positions in fantasy football for the XFL, giving you guys who I think will outperform, outperform their expectations and their stats from last week. But before I get into that, just wanted to say if you guys are looking for XFL content posted daily, click that like and subscribe button. We'll be posting stuff every single day throughout the season. So if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyway, not going to waste any more time. Let's get going. All right, guys, so as I said, we're going over starts of the week. We'll begin with a quarterback position. Now, typically with my starts of the week, I'm going to always try to avoid the obvious start of the week. So, yeah, of course, I could say Philip Walker. Everyone knows you should be starting Philip Walker right now. But I want to throw a vote of confidence over there for Jordan Te'amu, who definitely outperformed expectations last week. And I look for him to do even better this week. Gets to play against Phil Walker and the Houston Roughnecks this week in the highest over under on the week. I think that Jordan Tiamo is going to flourish and succeed in this offense. Should get plenty of rushing yards and especially with both Matt Jones and Keith Ford dealing with lower body injuries. This is going to be a game where they're going to have to rely heavily on Jordan Tiamo. I look for him to score a lot of fantasy points this week definitely like him as one of my top quarterbacks on the week would even start him over a guy like Cardell Jones. All right, jumping over to the running backs now. I know I said I don't typically uh, take guys that I rank higher than like the top six here, but I want to make sure I give a vote of confidence to Jarrell Presley. Last week, he looked really good in the few runs that he was actually able to not get hit behind the line of scrimmage, and he actually avoided Five, or he made uh, five missed tackles last week, which is really good. He looked like he still had the same explosiveness and burst that gave him the ability to be the leading rusher in the AAF last year. Uh, Janelle Pumphrey did not look very good last week at all, and I think uh, Jarrell Presley is going to have a much easier time going against the New York Guardians. That gave up 150 yards on the ground to the Tampa Bay Vipers in week one, so vote of confidence for Jarrell Presley if you have him. Start him with confidence this week. All right, let's jump over to the receiver start of the week. I love Khalil Lewis this week. Again, going back to that Houston and St. Louis game that should be a very high scoring game. Now you got Sammy Coates, Cam Phillips, Sam Mobley, you got a ton of targets over there, but Khalil Lewis did exactly what we were expecting him to do last week. He was heavily involved, scored a touchdown, and was wide open every single time that they threw it to him. He's a great route runner, and I don't know that St. Louis is going to be able to keep up with all of the talent that Houston has. I think Khalil Lewis has an incredibly high floor and should be started in pretty much every single format. All right, and then lastly, let's jump over to the tight ends. Now, this is a harder position to figure out in the XFL, but I really like Marcus Lucas a lot this week. We saw Cole Hunt go down last week with an unfortunate knee injury, and it's looking like Marcus Lucas is going to be the mainstay for the tight end position in St. Louis. The head coach there is a former tight ends coach for the Cincinnati Bengals, and he likes to utilize the tight end. We saw Marcus Lucas get six targets last week, and that was even with Cole Hunt involved for half of the game. They did resign Connor Davis, but it was late in the week when they did so. I don't think that he's going to be too active in this game. So look for Marcus Lucas to be involved again in this very high score game. So as you can tell, I'm very excited for the St. Louis Battlehawks Houston Roughnecks game with three out of four of my starts of the week in that game. I'm stacking a lot of those guys in daily and in my season long league. So really excited excited about that game. There's a lot of players in that game that I'm, I am very happy to have on my fantasy team going into week two. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see how I have all these players ranked amongst their peers, click that link in the description or go to fantasyaddictionnetwork.com. You can access my rankings, trade tools, waivers, daily stats, everything that you need for managing a fantasy league. We're going to continue to upgrade that website throughout the season and it's absolutely free. So just got to create an account there and you'll be able to access it all season long at no charge. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want XFL content posted daily, click that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.